Yo, what's up guys, Sebastian Legends back with another video. In this video today guys, we're going to be talking about how to make a button using starter GUI in Roblox Studio today. So we're going to be playing around with the GUIs and if you don't know what a starter GUI is, the starter GUI is where you put things related to the screen over there. So starter GUI, like you could put like text on screen, for example, you know like how in like some games they prompt you with like messages and stuff? Starter GUI plays a role there because you put the shapes that you want there. You put the sh you put the text I mean. You put the shapes, you put the text, and you also put buttons and stuff like that and you script the buttons to do things. So that's what Starter GUI is really used for and today we're going to be going over the basics of it. I'm going to show you guys how to add a button for this first tutorial. In order to add a button to your game, what we're going to do is we're going to use Starter GUI like I said earlier. In order to do this, you need to go over here, head to Starter GUI, search up button, and then you get the option by cho either choosing an image or a text button. So you can add like an image to the button or you could just get a text button and write something in it. How about we use both of them? We're going to use an image button. We're also going to use a text button. And now we got two buttons over here. And you, you guys might see that it doesn't appear on the screen. The reason it doesn't appear is because we need to add a frame over here as you guys could see. And then now we're going to put it in. It still doesn't work because we have to add a screen GUI. So like I'm saying guys, you need to add first a screen GUI and then you can add a frame and then you put the two buttons in it. So now you could like position the buttons and stuff like that. Just click it and drag it. And then now we basically got two different buttons. You can see we got the image one over here and we got the text one, one over here. So how about for the text button, we're gonna customize that one first. We're gonna go to where it says, let's look for the text. The text is all the way down. And you can see there's an option where you could change the text. How about we change it to subscribe? Let's make the subscribe button just like the one in YouTube. And you guys should consider subscribing if you enjoy the video too. So let's make the text bigger to make it actually look like a subscribe button. And then we're going to make the box red. So how about we change the color of the box? And how about we make the text bold? Maybe like this is nice. Now let's add a red button. Let's make it red. We're going to change the background color over here. You scroll up. You can make it red. And now this kind of looks like the subscribe button. Maybe I think the text was white too. So how about we change the color of the text. We're going to go down. You could also change the text color to whatever you want. We can make it white. And now we basically got a subscribe button for YouTube. And in addition, if you guys want to customize it more, you could also feel free to add a border color if you want. But I'm going to just keep it black. In addition, you could also change the background transparency, the red thing. You can make it invisible if you want. If not, you can make it like slightly visible. But I'm going to just keep it fully visible for this because it looks nice that way. Alright, so now we got the button done, the text button. How about we play around with the image button? So now we're gonna go, we're gonna go find a picture first. How about we go to decals? Let's search up a subscribe. Let's see if there's a subscribe button over here. How about we try using this one over here? This one seems nice. It seems realistic to YouTube. Once you find the image you want, just copy the asset ID. So you right click on it, and then you get the option. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the image button over here. And then we're going to go down to image. We're going to paste the, the decal ID. And then now our subscribe button has been made. We made the subscribe button now. You could also change the size and stuff of it if you like. So now we got the image over here and it looks nice. Now we basically got an image button and a text button both representing subscribe. Let's play now and let's see how it looks guys. And you can see it's pretty nice. Pretty cool guys. We got two subscribe buttons. So yeah, subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, smash that like, smash that subscribe. You can smash it here. Now I'm playing. This is just a video. Smash it on YouTube. You know what I mean. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.